Hello children today in EVS1 for standard 4 we are going to learn lesson number 7 food and nutrition Why do we need food We need food to get energy and to grow that is for our growth What will happen if we don't eat food? Yes, if we do not eat enough proper food, we become weak and unhealthy. Then we are not able to do any work as you can see in the pictures. What is a diet? The food that we eat or drink throughout the day is together called a diet Do these food stuffs help you to grow and stay healthy Now if you eat food stuffs like pizza burger donut french fries hot dog etc every day will it help you to grow and stay healthy No these food stuffs will not allow you to grow and will not allow you to stay healthy because they are harmful for your body so you must avoid eating it daily and eat balanced diet now what is balanced diet now in the picture you can see there is a food plate which consists of rice chapati dal vegetables curd and papad This variety of food stuff is called as balanced diet. A diet which contains different types of food possessing the nutrients that is the carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and water in a proportion to meet the requirement of the body. Now we shall see the food pyramid which tells us about the different constituents which are necessary for our body that is the balanced diet the first is the calcium the body needs calcium to maintain strong bones and to carry out many important functions almost all calcium is stored in bones and teeth where it supports their structure and hardness the body also needs calcium for muscles to move and for nerves to carry messages between the brain and every body part the different food items which help us to give calcium is milk cheese curd paneer okra which is also known as lady finger spinach which is also known as palak dates and ghee the next constituent is the carbohydrates carbohydrates provides energy for the body for growth and activity needed for proper utilization of other nutrients especially proteins the food items which help us to give carbohydrates is potatoes eggplant which is also known as brinjal bananas chapatis bread and rice The next constituent is vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are essential substances that our body needs to develop and function normally. The known vitamins include A, C, D, E, K, etc. They help store up bones, heal wounds and boost your immune system. 
they also convert food into energy and repair cellular damage the food items which help us to give vitamins and minerals are oranges kiwi fruit coconut garlic sweet lime chicken etc The next constituent is proteins. Proteins is required for the growth, maintenance of body tissues and building bones. It helps to grow our nails, hair and build bones and muscles. The food items which help us to get proteins are fish, green peas, eggs almonds walnuts and mushroom i hope so you all have understood the food pyramid where the different food items help us to get the different constituents of food which are very essential for our body and we should include it in our diet every day What is staple food? Staple food are food items that can be stored easily and eaten throughout the year. Different kinds of staple foods are used in different parts of the world. The term means the common basis of the everyday diet in a place. Some examples of staple foods are wheat rice jowar bajra etc now we will see that there is a wide variety in our food stuffs we use different food stuffs for different purposes like we get milk chicken eggs etc from animals we get oil from safflower groundnuts sesame etc we use lemon raw mango tamarind etc to add sartes to our food we use cloves black pepper etc spices in our food that make our food more tasty if we want to make something sweet and our food should become sweet we add jaggery that is also known as gur or sugar etc to it we use cucumber radish carrots etc for making salads we get flour from bajra wheat jowar rice etc to make chapatis or bhakris we must eat fruits such as apples chikus bananas etc to keep ourselves healthy variety in food stuffs there are difference in people's likes and dislikes like many of them like only vegetarian food and some also eat only non vegetarian food so there are different people who have their likes and dislikes we tend to eat the items we like again and again and avoid eating those which we don't like The most important thing is to ensure that the food related needs of our body are all being met. So even the food which we don't like, we must have it in small proportion and you must eat it. How does the constituents of food help us? Food constituents 
give strength to our body to work properly and takes care of the functions like respiration and digestion of food which takes place inside the body even when we are at rest food constituents help to repair or heal the wear and tear of our body wear and tear means the cuts or the wounds injuries etc on the different body parts when you get hurt while playing or while doing any work at home so the food that you eat helps you to heal that wound or heal that cut or injury these constituents provide nourishment to the body and create energy store in the body for all the functions to go on smoothly we need to drink plenty of water so water is very essential we have to drink it in a proper quantity so you have to drink a lot of water to keep yourself healthy the constituents makes bones strong and give strength to fight against diseases preserving the nourishment in food ingredients we should take the following precautions to avoid the loss of nourishing constituents when cooking food add only as much water as is needed use pressure cooker or lid while cooking sprout pulses before cooking them eat fruits like chikus figs grapes apples along with their skins eat raw salads like cucumber beetroots radish carrots etc mix two or three food stuffs while making a dish For example, add onions and potatoes to make usals, add drumsticks to make curries, add some soaked dals while cooking vegetables. So all these food that we eat our tongue helps us to find out the proper taste of it. So tongue is used for tasting. We understand the different tastes with the help of our tongue. Tiny peaks on the tongue is called as taste buds. Taste buds are sensitive to different tastes such as sweet, sour, bitter and salty. So what have we learned? A diet includes many different food items. There is great variety in the food stuffs we use to prepare different dishes. The food constituents that meet our food related needs are present in these food stuffs in different proportions. Our food related needs are met if our body gets all these food constituents in the right quantities our taste buds help us to know the different tastes so children always remember this our diet should include all kinds of food stuffs i hope you have understood the lesson and enjoyed watching the video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next video thank you